What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Dash Reacts. And a few days ago I asked you the question, which horror movie villain scares you the most? And I got some amazing answers. But out of the main list, it looks like Freddy Krueger just squeaked out a win over Pennywise the Clown. So let's watch the original Nightmare on Elm Street from 1984. Let's do this. And he is making that classic glove in the first seconds of the very first movie. This man put a lot of thought into that glove. So he's both a pet and a mechanical engineer. Introducing yeah. Johnny Depp. The career that man's had. Robert England as Fred Krueger. <laughs> you got to run faster than that, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, sir. <laughs> Just a dream, Mom. Some dream, judging from that. Hey, honey, you gotta cut your fingernails, you gotta stop that kind of dreaming. One or the other. How you stop your dreams? The imagery, man, is so creepy. That's what it reminded me of, that old jump rope song. It was the worst nightmare I ever had. Johnny Depp looks like a baby. I had a bad dream last night myself. I had a heart on this morning when I woke up, Tina. <laughs> had your name written all over it. I had this uh, cousin who lives near the airport. It's okay for me to stay with, right? And I got the sound effects day from Rod. And... Hello, Mom? Huh? Yeah, noisy as usual. <laughs> Glad we don't live here, huh? Yeah, Aunt Nuna says hello. <laughs> Listen, Ma, I gotta go. I think there's been an accident out front. <laughs> right. <laughs> All day long I've been seeing that guy's weird face. And hearing those fingernails. That made me remember the dream I had last night. What'd you dream? Nope. I dreamed about a guy in a dirty red and green sweater. More like finger knives or something. Something he'd made himself. But they made a horrible sound. I'm leaving. I'm leaving the sleepover right there. I'm out. I'm out. You guys have a nice day. If everybody's dreaming the same thing, I'm leaving. Scream. Oh. It's probably right bringing lamp down just three yards from the goal line. We got our mother's bed. You guys got the rest. Sucks. This music is getting me. This is, oh, the score is so good. Man, uh uh, no, nope. That scene right there is scary because in the previous scene, the, the crucifix gets knocked off the wall. Like when you think of monsters and demons, the crucifix is supposed to save you. Not with Freddy, it doesn't. You don't even have on any clothes. Go back in the house. Tina. Tina. <laughs> the scary version of Mr. Fantastic. Tina! Tina! 
I got a question for you. So at what point are you a coward for leaving the room? So if you look over beside you and you see your girl or your significant other is being attacked by some supernatural pedophile, when is it okay to leave and not feel like a coward, right? Shout out to Rod for, for staying as long as he did because I know plenty of dudes who would have left much sooner. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I would have stayed, but maybe not as long as Rod did. She dreamed this was going to happen. What? She had a nightmare that someone was trying to kill her. That's why we were there, Mom. <laughs> but she just didn't want to sleep alone. Ray had quarreled earlier with her boyfriend, Rod Lane. Lane is now the subject. You're able to show the girl in the body bag with her arm slipping out on the news? What universe is this? There was somebody else there. Don't look at me like I'm some fucking fruitcake or something. Okay, I got him. On the ground. Now. Come on, get that. Oh, Lieutenant, wow. look at this. A switchblade. Ray and Julius Caesar. John, will you go ahead, please? She's getting, she's getting sleepy. Nope. Nope, nope. Oh, hell no! Oh, ah. Tina, why are you gonna come and stand in front of my classroom in a bloody body bag? I tried to do right by you. Okay, and you gonna come and haunt me? Nobody else finds that creepy as shit. Could be in a nutshell. And myself a king of infinite space. Yeah, that boy talking. Yeah, that's what I thought. 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 It makes it even worse. Don't follow her, but I know you're gonna. Tina? Man. Please go back to the afterlife from whence you came. Where's your pass? The sweater? Screw your pass. Hey, Nancy. No running in the hallway. <laughs> so well done. Go back! Who are you? Ah, see, I don't remember the maggots in his body. Sam, stop, Fred. Come to Freddy. You see this guy's face right here? If the girl behind me in class screamed in my ear like that, I would have made that same face. Well then how do you know that somebody else was there? Because somebody cut her while I watched. Four razors. Cutting at the same time. I probably could have saved. If I'd have moved sooner. Ah, oh, you couldn't. But I thought it was just another nightmare. Like the one I had the night before. It was this guy. He had nice for fingers. Realization. Like demented kids came up with this nursery rhyme. Nancy, you don't feel a giant clawed hand in between your legs. Wake up, Nancy. Sleep in there. You could drown, you know. Oh, for Pete's sakes. What happens all Pete's the time? Pete's sakes, nothing. Oh, man. Nancy! I'll turn down your bed, okay? Pajamas on. Why, why would you lock it again if you just... What'd you do to your arm? I burned it in English class. God, I look 20 years old. Is, is that bad? I'm gonna go and look for somebody. And I want you to stand like a, a sort of a guard, okay? Okay. Pay attention, Johnny. 
You ever had a lucid dream before where you can control everything that you're doing inside the dream? I have. Those things are amazing, but I can't make them happen all the time. If you know how to make lucid dreams happen, let me know in the comments. Are you still watching? Yeah, so? I'm just checking. It's a cool concept though, you gotta admit. She went to the precinct in her dream? I don't remember this part. Uh-oh. Glenn! Glenn! Glenn's asleep. Glenn! What more do you want from me? <laughs> ah! Damn it, Tina! Goose stairs. Glenn, you almost got both of us killed. That's when you punch Glenn in the face. I do. I just asked you to do one thing. Just stay awake and watch me. Just wake me up if it looked like I was having a bad dream. You had one job. And what did you do, you shit? Garcia, I've got to see Rod Lane again. The guy's sleeping like a baby. He's not going anywhere. We're going to put the keys. If you don't find those keys... Oh. Oh. Ow! Ow! Seeing this scene now hits a little bit different. Wasn't there another real life case? We're not going to say the dude's name. Where somebody was possibly killed, but it was made to look like he did it himself? This girl just saw two murders in two days. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. That we judge not, lest we be judged. And may Rod Lane rest in peace. What the hell are dreams anyway? Mysteries, incredible body hocus pocus. The truth is, we still don't know what they are or where they come from. I'm sure there's an explanation for how but I wonder why our, our bodies make us dream. I need to read up on that. Typical dream parameter. A nightmare now would be plus or minus five or six. If something's wrong. Oh, 10, 15, 20, 30. <gasps> What's she doing? Is she dreaming? <laughs> Get something! What happened? Wow. That's crazy right there. I grabbed it off his head. That was the first time I'd ever seen a movie come up with something like that. So creative. It even has his name written in it. Fred Krueger, Mom. You'll feel better when you get some sleep. Feel better? You call this feeling better? Maybe I should grab that bottle and veg out with you. Avoid everything happening to me by just getting good and loaded. Oh. You'll feel better when you sleep. It's just... Screw sleep! <laughs> Mommy daughter problems. Did you ever read about the Balinese way of dreaming? Balinese they got this whole system they call dream skills. They get all their art and literature from dreams. Just wake up and write it down. Dream skills. Well, what if they meet a monster in their dreams? Then what? They turn their back on it. Take away its energy and it disappears. Booby traps and improvised anti-personnel devices. I'm into survival. Oh, those. Bars on the windows. Wow. No more visits from Glenn. Security from what? Not from what? From home. Come down to the cellar with me and I'll tell you. 
Can you just tell me up here? Why do we have to make this even darker than it already is, Ma? You want to know who Fred Krueger was? Yeah. He was a filthy child murderer who killed at least 20 kids in the neighborhood. Somebody forgot to sign the search warrant in the right place, and Krueger was free just like that. A bunch of us parents tracked him down after they let him out. Took gasoline. Poured it all around the place. And made a trail of it out the door. Then lit the whole thing up and watched it burn. Merc that man. You have it in the house. Stand by your window so I can see you. You stand a million miles away. So in the 80s, all of the coolest dudes wore halter tops. I know who he is. Who? The killer. You do? Yes. And if he gets me, I'm pretty sure you're next. Me? Why would anybody want to kill me? <laughs> Don't ask. Just give me some help nailing the guy when I bring him out. You're not he's a fruitcake. I love you anyway. Well. Whatever you do, don't fall asleep. Oh, man. Midnight. Baseball bats and boogeyman. Beautiful. Okay, let's picture her and her friends. She didn't waste any time. I think that kid is some kind of lunatic or something. I shouldn't talk that way about that poor child. Marge is just being cautious. I don't want that kid hanging around with her son anymore. She just had two friends die in two days. How do you expect her to act? It's her. She wants to talk to Glenn. About what? She says it's private. Very private. And very important. Glenn's asleep. You'll have to talk to him tomorrow. You've just got to Ouch. Be That's all. Let's go. Oh, no. But wouldn't the phone start making that a uh, different sound or something if it's off the hook too long? thing is not plugged in. Hello? Uh, I would have been like, mm, puh, ha. <laughs> good, good. going to get some sleep tonight if it kills me. Or somebody else. Give me the key, mother. No! Oh, snap. No! I saw this movie when I was a bit too young because my parents, mainly my pops, was okay with the violent stuff but not the sexual stuff. So after seeing Glenn get pulled in the bed like that, when your parents are like, okay, time to go to bed, I'm not getting in the bed. Did you see what Freddy just did to Glenn? What do you need the ambulance for? What is there to take? You need a stretcher up there. You need a mop. And she lost all her friends. Well, Lieutenant, it's your daughter. Fred Krueger did it, Daddy. And only I can get him. It's my nightmare he comes to. Just come here and break the door down in exactly 20 minutes. Watch my daughter's house. If you see anything funny, call me. Anything funny like what? I don't know. Oh, the booby traps. She's about to get in Freddy's ass with some classic 1980s booby traps. 
Nancy's trying to survive. She is not playing. Yeah, put it down. I love you. I love you too, baby. Eighties yeah. tech. What if they meet a monster in this maze? Then what? Turn your back on her. Take away its energy and it disappears. But what happens if they don't do that? Well, then I guess those people don't wake up to tell what happens. Mm. Get him, Nancy. Is that Tina again? Tina, will you leave me alone? The balls on this lady to call for Fred Krueger. This is like cinema history. Like, <laughs> this is the first Freddy showdown ever. Mm. It's messed up. Good one. That's a good jump scare. Where are you? Where are you, Kruger? Wow. She lunged at him. Don't relax. Don't relax. I'm crazy after all. No, 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 you're not. No, you're not. In his murderous ass. Come on, Kruger! Take it down! I got him trapped! Help! Where are you? Everything is gonna be alright! Those bars, those bars. Come on! He's in here! Don't let him kill me, too! Hey! <laughs> That's what you get, Brad. Oh, oh. She is home alone in this man. Everybody, everybody. I'm okay. No, you're not. You go downstairs. I'll be there in a minute. I love that effect. It's simple, but it's still creepy. I know you're there, Freddy. I know you too well now, Freddy. You die. You're not alive. This whole thing is just a dream. I take back every bit of energy I gave you. You're nothing. Damn! 
And that strategy never worked again in any of the other movies. Surprise. She's, she's oh, alive. I feel like a million bucks. They say you bottomed out when you can't remember the night before. No, baby, I'm going to stop drinking. I just don't feel like it anymore. Good, Mom. You look a little bit peaked. I guess I just slept heavy. Yeah, they're all back. Oh, I believe anything is possible. Looking good, girl. The colors in the car. <laughs> hey, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing it. Going up. She's just Mother! waving. Creepy ending. Bob got ragdolled. Okay. really surprised I haven't seen Nightmare on Elm Street in a really long while and even though Nightmare on Elm Street is a little bit dated now I think it still held up really well really good scares and, and a really scary concept that I thought was done really well let me know your favorite part or the scariest part in the comments and if you have any other horror movie recommendations let me know those in the comments too if you enjoyed this reaction please make sure to give this video a like comment share and I suggest you subscribe or else Freddy Krueger will haunt your dreams.